What's it been like for you watching him? Oh, close this year. Every well, I think someone said it. I think Troop said it before. I, on the bench, I'm always ooh and ah, and it's it's awesome to see what he does out there. It's crazy how he's able to create space for himself and find lanes and set up guys. It's it's unbelievable to watch. After the trade deadline, when you guys brought in Justin Braun, you know, veteran guy with playoff experience, but you're still playing quite a bit. Is that do you feel some pride in that that you've done enough here to to keep earning your spot even after they brought in somebody else? Yeah, for sure, and. It's, it's something that it's completely out of my control. I just got to make sure that I'm out there doing my job and doing what I can to help the team win. And yeah, it's it's awesome to keep getting opportunities and keep playing, but you can't take it for granted because yeah, we, we have a ton of great players on our on our defense and yeah, so it's been a lot of fun. When, you, when he first came and now you have to figure out who your partner's gonna be, um, do you notice differences between Patrick and Braun? Like in terms of one's a righty, one's a lefty, but I mean like do you have to adjust to, to them when, when whichever one of them is playing next to you? I think a, a little bit, but I, I think you said it. It's it's mainly just the hands. I think I sometimes I have to when I'm with Braun or I, I'm used to passing to a lefty, so I, I hold on to the puck on a D to D to make sure I'm putting it on his tape and things and I'd say other than that we, we, we talk a lot and all three of us are on the same page and and how we want to play, and it's just making sure that we, I, I put the puck on, on the tape for him to be able to make the, the next play. So you never like forget in the middle of a game, like, oh, okay, oh. <laughs> no, I'm usually always ready for that, but sometimes, I mean, it, 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 uh, you just have to take an extra second to think about it. What's it been like to be a part of a team that's had three straight shutouts and help, especially as a defenseman? Yeah, it, that, that's exactly, obviously, Igor is a huge reason. He's unbelievable. and. He, he helps us out a lot back there, but it's it's a it's a good feeling to be able to, to shut teams out and to, to do it, yeah, multiple in a row. It's I hope we can keep it going. Well, if you if you notice anything in your time here that you guys are doing better defensively in the last few weeks, I I I think so. I think we're we're playing a lot more responsibly. You can tell we're tightening things up, and yeah, it's it makes the game so much. I don't want to say easier, but it, it's a lot of fun. When you know your forwards are coming back and back pressuring, it makes our job a lot easier. And and then to get to spots and be able to make a pass and to break the puck out as quick as we can, it's it's uh, it makes the game so much smoother and and more fun to play. What's it like for for everybody, but for you as a as a as a rookie in these last regular season games, where you know like the playoffs is like a week and a half away. I mean, like just you gotta kill time until then. Like, what's what's that emotion like? Uh, yeah, I, I think uh, it's definitely something I'm really excited for. I think I just want to, my main focus is just to keep building my game because I know I, I, I haven't been in the, the situation in the playoffs before, but I, I've, I've seen it and it looks like it's ramped up and the physicality's ramped up. So just to make sure that I'm keeping my habits and keeping to build my game to make sure I'm, I'm ready for those moments if they come. And yeah, it's uh, it's been a cool experience to learn and it's uh, uh, I'm excited for it. I, I can't wait to get in there. Any thoughts on the Islander rivalry and, and seeing him tomorrow, what you've learned so far as a rookie? I, I, I've learned that it's intense and it's a, a fun game to play and they're they're a hard checking team and they, they, they play the game hard and it, when we had them last time in the garden I think they got us but the, the atmosphere is absolutely crazy and it's it's a, it's a fun game, a fun rivalry to be a part of. It, Going back to the playoff thing, it, does it feel like it's far away, or is that anticipation building? Like, are there any nerves starting to set in, or how, how do you feel about how close it is right now? Yeah, I, I definitely feel like there is some in in anticipation coming toward it, but I'm I'm just trying to <laughs> stay as grounded as I can and to stay in the moment because I, I think if I, I got too ahead of myself, I, I could get overthinking things quite quickly. So, yeah, just playing the game and trying to keep building each day still and. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm, I'm trying not to think about it too much right now. What's your life like in New York? I mean, I assume you have got an apartment and all that. I mean, you know, I mean, like, what's your life like away from the rink as a 20-year-old guy in this area? Uh, pr pretty, pretty, pretty chill, actually. I, I stay just out, just uh, in White Plains. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, I come here, do my thing and go home and just try to make sure I'm ready for the next day. I, I keep it pretty mellow, but on the days off, I do like to, 
to walk around and, and go see the sites in Manhattan and stuff. And yeah, it's uh, it's a lot different than Saskatchewan, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did your parents, your parents, I assume, come to visit you at some point? They have been busy watching my, my little brother, who's actually in the playoffs in the WHL with the Blades right now. So they're waiting for him to finish up. And then whenever, depending on how they do, I think they're going to try and come out and make uh, a few games or hopefully for the start of our playoffs. Okay. How old is your little brother? He's uh, 2003. Yep. How's he doing? He's doing good. Yeah, yeah he's, he's uh, building his game a lot too, and he's uh, getting a lot of confidence and uh, getting better every day too. Is he a D-man? Man? Yeah, he's a D-man. Yeah. Lefty? Righty? Righty. Yeah. Just like you? Yep, We're pretty close, yeah. Are you coaching him from a distance? Uh, I, I try to let him do his thing. I think he has to figure it out, but whenever he calls me or he needs some help, I always tell him to just... Uh, Keep being aggressive, keep playing confidence, and, and uh, let the game happen. So is he true with the third? Uh, we don't know for sure. <laughs> <laughs>